Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome to season two of the Cast Black Podcast. We're back, better than ever. Yeah. Remote. Remote. It's been a while. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Better than ever because we're not sharing a room. Yeah, we're not having to breathe in each other's air anymore, so we can actually exactly. concentrate on podcasting. Oh yeah. <laughs> no no physical creator differences here because we're not even in the same uh, same postcode. Uh, so, of course, we're sticking with the same format, though. So, whose house are we in today, Hal? We're in both our houses. So, we can't podcast. That's it. Format ruined. That's it, right. Well, yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, for the Luckily. sake of argument, we're going to carry on doing what we were doing before um, mm. and just swap in virtual spaces. So, we mm. are... Um, if you're new to Season 2, the way we normally run this is that... Uh, we'll swap it week to week, doing a, a short segment and a long segment each. Normally, a, mm-hmm. a bit of a rant and a bit of a learning. Yep. Um, and we used to do that based on whose house we can go to. Uh, now, yep. of course, we can't. We can't leave the house. No, no, no one can. No one is allowed. We all must stay in own houses. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you're right. I did actually think about the order. Luckily, we had an established order from last time. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank God. Um, so this week we are at uh, my house, yes, so to speak. Um, so to speak, not literally, because that would be illegal. That would be illegal. Boris, if you're listening, we're in separate houses. We're doing this mm-hmm. with a video chat. It's all a yep. bit weird. Um, yeah. But hopefully it'll be just as fluid and flawless as it ever is. As it ever is. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, I'm, I'm going to launch straight into um, to my little rant of a segment, which is exactly that. It's time for a rant. <laughs> I've not seen your face in person, your beautiful mug, since, like, end of October. And that is rant-worthy. No, I've not seen anyone's face in person since... Oh, not in person. Not in no, person. No. I've seen your face, but not, like... Yeah. I've not, I've not smelt you. <laughs> that was such a weird okay. thing to say. <laughs> I've not occupied the same physical space as another human being really since end of October. We're obviously in third. Well, aside from one. Aside from one. Aside from one. Aside from one, but she's always there anyway. Yeah, Um, basically part of the furniture at this point. Exactly. So yeah, how are you? How are you finding lockdown the third? Like Shrek Um, the third. Shrek the third. What the worst one? The worst one. (laughs) Somehow involving Justin Timberlake. Lockdown, the bad lockdown. Oh, yeah. Um, it's not been so bad this time, actually, this time round. You know, me. I actually kind of feel the same, and it's surprising that I feel the same. The The way yeah. that I'm seeing it is first lockdown was, like, such a big change and such a, like, scary thing to go through mm. that there was all this uncertainty and, like, fear and... I don't know, maybe, maybe that's just me. I was terrified. Yeah. Um... But this time round, like, I don't really have that. It's just kind of, ugh, this is what we're doing now, isn't yeah. it? Like, it's the it's the current, I wouldn't say the new norm, but it's the current norm. It's the norm. current norm, yeah. Yep. So we're just kind of stuck in, this This is what we're doing. We all know what we're doing now. We've been through it before. Um, right. I'm mostly just bored. Like, it's so dull in the winter. And the days <laughs> yeah. are so short. And if you're inside yep. the whole time... Um, it gets dark by about four o'clock mm-hmm. and then it's the evening and you've been inside. What I always quite like, especially in like a day off, um, mm-hmm. if you've been out in the day and then you come home and it gets dark, you feel it's fine because you popped out, you've done something with your day and then it's dark yep. and then it's the evening, you can settle in. But when you've been in mm-hmm. all day and then you yep. watch it get dark and then you're settling into the same space you've been in all day, you're watching the same TV you've watched all day, basically. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's just... I'm so bored. I mean, that's just kind of winter months in general, though, isn't it? I know. It just, I, this one's just hitting differently. Yeah, it's just exacerbated by the fact that you're indoors the entire time. Like, and it's weird because it's not as if I normally spend my winters going out and like doing a ton of stuff. I hibernate. I hi- mm. hardcore hibernate. I lock, batten down the hatches, turn on the TV, play some games, get some board games out sit in a cosy chair and read a book that's that's my winter yeah 
but now because they've robbed me of the um, opportunity of going outside and hanging out with friends and doing anything more interesting, I feel bloody hard done by. Yeah, it's one of those you don't appreciate what you've got until it's gone. Exactly. And and, and then when it comes back, I won't do it. No. There's no way that I'm going to go out and do anything. <laughs> I'm not going to pop out and do exercise. Exercise is awful. Oh yeah, no one needs... Exactly. I, I might socialise, but I'm doing that anyway online. I'll probably carry on doing that online when we're out again. But I want mm. the option so I can turn it down. <laughs> you want it to be your choice. I want it to be inside. my choice that I'm high blazing, not bloody Boris's. Mm. But yeah, man, it's uh, it's hitting. It's yeah. Are you getting a bit of cabin fever? A bit of because you're you're actually leaving the house now. I am. Now, this is you? because I was getting cabin fever. It's exactly that. Like I've been um, I've been working from home since March, which means I base my daily routine has been wake up fall out of the bed, crawl into the other room, usually still in my pyjamas, let's be honest, do a day's work, crawl back into the other room, and there's my bed. Mm. Um, like, I just haven't left the house since... I mean, that's that's an exaggeration, but, you know, I feel like I hadn't left the house since March. So I have I've made a new arrangement with work where I'm popping into um, the office now, which means I actually get out of the house and uh, and see what the world is like for the walk to the office yeah, and, and back. So that's... You know, that's that's pretty decent. One thing that that does come with is that now I need to have regular COVID tests, which is the absolute worst. Yeah. Have you had to do any of these yet? I haven't had to do one yet. They're no. just they're just no fun. I currently am having to do two lateral flow tests a week, um, which consists of get a swab, mm-hmm. shove it right to the back of your mouth, Tickle your tonsils four times each, then shove it up your nose and twist it round ten times. <coughs> yeah, my thoughts Pre- exactly. Preferably different swabs, I hope. No, oh no. One swab, down the throat, up your nose. That's disgusting. It's gross, and it feels horrible. And like, yes, I'm on board with doing it and making sure that uh-huh. I'm not spreading uh-huh. the disease and 100% on board with the idea of lots of testing, but uh, I don't want to do it. Yeah, that sounds like the same swab. Same swab. They they tell you to do mouth first, not nose first, which is definitely a plus. But still, you like, ugh, it's at like least right at the back. That's where all the gross mouth is. Yeah, and then just up, and then you ever shove something right up your nose, like a a fluffy something, but like a kind of scrapey fluffy something, and twisted it. Don't don't do it. it sounds it's horrible. Really... Mm. Let alone something that's just been shoved down your just throat. Been, yeah, you've just been deep throated. <laughs> Literally, yeah. I have never God. trained my gag reflex this hard. Oh boy. Yeah. That's that's horrendous. I didn't realise it was the same swab. Yeah. That's, like it already sounded horrible. Mm-hmm. This is where we would get we find out that it's it's actually supposed to be different swabs <laughs> each time, and you're just getting Maybe really hard done by. You've been doing that wrong, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's three swabs, one each one. Uh. But yeah, that's, that has that has done me no good at all. I mean, I, I tell a lie; it's done me great because it means that I don't have COVID, and and you, and know, you that... can rest assured that you don't. Exactly, which is um, which feels good. It would just be nice if there were a, a slightly less unpleasant te- way of testing. God, I wish there were. But yeah, that's me twice a week at the moment. Um, so it's a slightly different routine. Um, I am very glad to be to be back with you and doing the um, doing the podcast. Yeah. Get some, um, get some more excitement in my life. Likewise. Yeah. I mean, we've been doing um, the pretty much every week on the dot, we've been doing some online gaming. Which we have, been... which honestly has been great. That's, that's been like mm. the saviour of my winter. Yeah. But there's no, there's nothing better than having a second reason to, to socialise. Exactly. Or even a third. Even a third. Yeah. Whoa. I know. Yeah. Thanks for doing this with me, Al. Yeah, thank you for doing it with me. I miss your face. I miss your face too. Well, that was that. I mean, that kind of went from a rant to a just a very nice sentiment. Well, who says you can't do both? It's twenty twenty one now. Let's 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 do wholesome year. Wholesome year. We did yeah. yelling and ranting the entirety of last year. Let's see how long <laughs> that can last. The entirety of the population was just in a one long, incoherent rant. <laughs> well, that's a nice note to kind of 
move on to our next next little bit. Yeah, what have you got for me? Learning. So I uh, I thought I'd ease us into it. I didn't want to over over um, bombard you with learning a thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so I thought we'd. Um, I remember one of one of our season one episodes. We did uh, like a quiz almost, didn't we? Oh, we did indeed. Yeah, where we found out our Kojima name. I wish I could is... remember my Kojima name. I re- I can't. I've I've got the paper somewhere. I'll dig it mm-hmm. out. Excellent. Um, at some point. God, that was so good. We're, it's not going to be quite as involved this time, but that we're going to answer. That was at least seven pages. It was at least seven pages. Um, <laughs> we are actually we're going to have a bit of a bit of an experiment, hmm. um, but we're going to answer an age-old question that's oh, just you know one of the questions anyone needs to answer in their life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, can you guess what it is? Uh, we're doing like a classic chicken egg situation. Nope. Um, nope. Meaning of life. No, no, no. Think of it like a question you need to answer about yourself. Mm. So, like, the best biscuit? We, no. Because I know that. I've done that one already. Oh, yeah, you've, you've, you've scientifically analysed that. It, it's a bourbon. We all knew it before we went into it. Yeah. Um, no, what, what we're answering, huh? We're answering, what Pokemon are you? Oh, absolutely wonderful. Yeah. I'm thrilled. Yep. I can't wait to find out. So I've got a couple of links to send you. We'll start with the first one. Mm-hmm. We, we, I've, we're going to, you know, for the sake of a fair experiment, we've got a couple of different sources. Okay, okay. And we're going to start with possibly the most official one. Right, yeah. This is from Nintendo. This is directly from the horse's mouth. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Obviously, for those who aren't um, in the learn, in the learn. In the learn, I like it. Uh, one of the one of the side series of Pokemon is a, a series called Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, mm. where you wake up, you play a human that has been turned into a Pokemon. And at the start of the game, they they ask you basically a little personality quiz uh, to decide what Pokemon you will play as in the game. Nice. Uh, and this is the online version, directly from Nintendo. Excellent. I'm glad you went with that that way. I thought when you were going to say, uh, for those of you not in Learn, uh, Pokemon is uh, they're like small <laughs> creatures. <laughs> Uh, not dissimilar to uh, to human earth creatures. Human earth creatures. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes I really thought you we were just going to explain the concept of pocket monsters, but no, oh, yeah. no. mystery dungeon. Yeah, yeah. I hate to say, it, but if at least you don't know the 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 concept of Pokemon, you might be listening to the wrong podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll take it in turns to read out the quiz. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll read out this first one. Mm-hmm. Um, and hopefully it will be the same question. So even though I'm reading it out, you'll be able to see it in front of you. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, obviously we'll both answer. Yep, yep. And um, we've got a we got a few we've got four quizzes to do. Mm-hmm. I think this one's the shortest. And Excellent. then hopefully we'll have a a definitive answer. Before we jump in, if I may, mm-hmm. do you have any expectations? Do you have is there is there anyone in mind that you're like I'm pretty sure I'm a Psyduck? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I um, I genuinely don't know. I'm going to go in open-minded. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'd probably end up being like a Snorlax or something. I was going to say Snorlax seems an, a likely answer. Mostly mm-hmm. because Con- I, I, I spend about most of the time sleeping at the moment. Yeah, what day are we recording on this on, Hal? And what day are we supposed to be recording this on? Uh, I plead the fifth. <laughs> we had this schedule to record yesterday. And I, uh, I messaged Hal halfway through the day. I was like, Hal, are you, um, you're on to podcast? We're, we're doing a podcast? I didn't get a reply. I was like, oh, I'll message you in a bit. How are you you're about? Six o'clock in the evening, you get a message back saying, sorry, mate, I was asleep. And this is after postponing it after the original date we scheduled it for, because I was also asleep. This has actually been the case since October. You've just been asleep mm. the whole time. It keeps getting pushed back. Yeah, I've actually been hibernating. When I said on Saturday that I woke <laughs> up, it was... I'd woken up from my uh, six-month-long hibernation. <laughs> anyway, shall we? Uh, what about you? Do you think what what mm. are you expecting? I have I have no idea. I mean, I have I have favourites, but I don't know if I uh, personally like. I love a slow bro, but I'm not a slow bro. I'm too uh, too quick witted for a slow bro. So, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. No, I, well. Yeah, I mean, Snorlax is obviously not my favourite. Mm, well, not obviously, mm. but it's not my favourite. But I imagine that's what it's going to... Sod's Law, that's what it's going to put me as. But you don't think... You, there's no predictions what you no, think I, you I, end up being? I, 
I don't. I mean, we've got what eight hundred and ninety odd to choose from. Mm. Who knows? I'm, I'm intrigued. If we're doing four quiz, as you say, I'm intrigued to see how well they line up. Yeah. Well, it's worth bearing in mind that Mystery Dungeon has a limited pool mm-hmm. um, to start off with because they only have the starters and a couple of extras mm. to choose from. Um, so it's probably about thirty. Uh, but should we crack on with this mm. the, the, this one I'm, first? I'm gunning for a squirtle. You're going to go for a squirtle. Gun for a squirtle. Mm. Okay. So, uh, right, first question. You send a postcard to a friend. What exciting news do you have to share? Is this the same question that you've got? I've got the same question, yeah. We're off to a good okay. start. So the answers we got, uh, I won a contest. Mm-hmm. I visited a neat museum. A neat museum? A neat museum. I knew you'd pick up on that. <laughs> I explored a new trail. Mm-hmm. I made a new friend, or I took a spa day. What do you think your answer oh, to I, that one Oh, I, for be? sure, and not just because of the wording, have visited a neat museum. Yep, I thought you might. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, yeah, it's probably going to be the same for me, actually. Okay. Nice. Next question. What do you, what do you value most? Hmm. Adventure, relaxation, knowledge, friends and family, or competition? You know, I think I value relaxation most. Yeah. I don't know if I'm just in a in a hibernating mood. I'm, I'm tempted <laughs> by an adventure. I'm tempted by a knowledge. But right now, I really appreciate relaxation. Well, I'm going to spur off in a different direction Ooh. and go for friends and family. Oh, very nice. Where would you go for your dream vacation? Mm. Historical site? Like a neat museum? Like a neat museum. Hot springs, theme park, oceanside, or botanical garden? Well, if you know me, then you know I'm going straight to the ocean side. Mm-hmm. I'm a sucker for a coast path. A coast path. <laughs> See, it's not necessarily the beach. Like, it is the beach. I love a good beach. But it's not... If you say, yeah. like, I love a beach, then you picture, like, a hot summer's day, popping in the ocean, having a sunbathe. I love a beach mm. just for, like, the scenery. Mm. Um, well, that's the important thing here. They've not said beach. They've said ocean. They said side. ocean side, which I'm straight for. Yeah, which which could be it could be beach. It could be coastal park. Exactly. Just could be some nice by the ocean, somewhere where you can hear the waves coming in. Seaside town, maybe. Exactly. Yeah. That's 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 my dream. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm going historical site. I love a little bit of history. Oh, very nice. I love a very nice. Love a like a, an ancient uh, an ancient castle or a ruin or yeah or whatnot. You you do you. I will do me. How would your friends describe you? Friend, uh, this is good because we could actually answer. Each I think other. we do need to run to each other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, how would your friends describe you? Friendly, passionate, resourceful, adventurous, or cool? Hmm. How diamond? I describe you as cool. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> if only in relation to me. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I would describe you as, out of those, friendly. Oh, thanks, Hal. You're always very friendly, always very welcoming. What a lovely thing uh... to say about a person. Hmm. What's what's your favourite snack, Joe? Sour gummies? Mmm, yum. Chips and salsa? I like it spicy. I'm not making these up. I'd just like to clarify for everyone (laughs) how it's just ad lib in its own. (laughs) (laughs) Blueberries? Nature's candy. Mm -hmm. Smoothies to keep it cool. Or chocolate chip cookies, a classic snack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a classic snack. I'm going straight for the cookies. You're going for the going for the cookies. I think so. Uh, like I'm not I'm not a spicy man. Blueberries are fine, but of all the berries, blueberries are kind of sour. Mm. That's that's not the correct choice. You go for like a raspberry, a, a freshly picked blackberry, but a blueberry, no, mate. I'd go for a blueberry. If You'd I were to pick a, a berry, I'd go for a blueberry. Would but out you? of these, obviously, chocolate chip. Yeah, that's that's the correct answer. Uh, what's one thing you can't leave the house without? Your glasses, mm. your smile. Oh. I mean, technically, it's your smile because you can't leave without <laughs> your face. Uh, your backpack, your headphones, or your sneakers. Ah, for me, it's my headphones. Yeah, it's gonna be if I'm if I'm leaving the house and I'm not. I know you just described me as friendly, but if there's people I don't know about, it sure ain't my smile. Yeah, it's headphones in, head down. Yep. I'm going to have to say backpack because as much as, as often as I try. I've never leave... seen you without a backpack on. In I know. all the time I've known you, every time you step out of the house, you're wearing a bag. Yeah, it's really, I, it's genuinely frustrating that I wish I, I didn't carry so much shit with me. Mm-hmm. But I always end up being like, if, even if I try and take it without, not, you know, go out without having the backpack, there's always one thing that's like, mm, can't leave without this bottle. Well, then I'd have to carry a <laughs> bottle around. I guess I'm taking a bag. 
So backpack it is. All right, let's see our results. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. So oh. it's not giving us a, a specific answer here. No, I, d- I didn't realize that. I, I'm happy with my results. Um, I'm a water type Pokemon, Ooh. which is which I would put as my uh, my go-to type. Yeah, uh, which includes my Squirtle. So, so you might as well have said. Squirtle. So I'm going to say a Squirtle. It could be a, a Psyduck, a Turtle, a Mudkip, or a Squirtle. But out of those four, Squirtle was my boy. All right, we'll take Squirtle then. We'll note you down as mm-hmm. your first being a Squirtle. Uh, so for me, it's um, it's giving me normal type. Interesting. Which okay. I I wasn't wasn't expecting at all. You know what? That was weirdly where I was where I was seeing you. Yeah. Yeah. Because your normal types, you often you're like your big fluffy friendly ones. You call me a big fluffy friendly one. Well, you just yeah, <laughs> you would. It's like a, a a friendly man with a beard. I can see you as a I can see you as a nice normal type. Okay. Well, out of my options, I've got Meowth, Eevee, and Skitty. So Ooh, I'll, there's mm. a bad one in amongst there. Skitty. Skitty. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll go Eevee then. Eevee's a strong. A Eevee's strong a strong. I can one. see you as an Eevee. Yeah. Okay. So, the next one is a bit of a strange source. Hmm. Is this the Beano? This is the Beano of all places. As in the Dennis the Menace comic. If you, yeah, it is. If you kind of, well, at the top you can see a banner with the. Oh, there's an advert at the bottom as well. Jesus. Yeah. This is Beano. There you go. The Were old you, comic. Did you used I, to read the Beano? I was a Beano boy, yeah. I was a Beano boy. I had a, I had a little collection of late nineties Beanos. Yeah, yeah, same, same actually. They at home they were all like, well, they might have got thrown out actually, but yeah, because da- uh, family business was a news agent. Uh, of course, yeah. We just get the Beano every week. Yeah, that sounds delightful. Well, let's see how well they uh, they know us and our our pokey selves. Yeah, yeah. Let's find out. Uh, so would you like to read this? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll go straight for it. So, um, yep. so how 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 funny are your jokes? Is it your sides will probably split? You leave it to the professionals. You think they're funny, or is the groan the same as a laugh? I um, genuinely... I think we have to answer this for each other again. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I think uh, for you, you genuinely make me laugh. A lot. So yeah, I this is say... the only reason I hang out. I was, talk- I was, I can't remember who I was talking to the other day, but I genuinely was just like, it's the only reason I hang out with Hal. He's the only person that finds me funny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's not very nice. Well, that's a lovely gonna... thing to say. I'm sure. I'm gonna move it to. Uh, I'll leave it to the professional. No, okay. Yeah, sides Rude. will probably spit. Oh, bless you. You know, I I'd say the same. You make me laugh. That's nice. Thanks. Gone for a very wholesome <laughs> podcast today. We have. We, we, we did say that, didn't we? <laughs> we did. How much TV do you watch? It's only an hour a day. <laughs> when do I not watch TV? I'd rather go swimming. Or, I like Great British Bake Off while eating some cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice to see like a really English quiz <laughs> on this. It's so English. <laughs> um, what constitutes TV? That's the question. Because if that if that encompassed or included like YouTube, you, watching I would, YouTube videos, I would call TV as any kind of broadcast or streaming. YouTube's kind of its own its kettle of fish. Thing, yeah. mm. Okay, there's some weird options here. It's either only a little bit, literally all the time. I like swimming, or one specific show and some cake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I absolutely bloody love a Bake Off with a slice of cake, so that's absolutely where I'm going. That's where you're going. I guess mm-hmm. I'll have to go an hour a day then, because that's yep. probably the closest. Because I don't actually watch that much like TV at the moment. I think I was, we were saying this in the ch- yeah. in a group call that we were part of, but I've got real bad TV fatigue at the moment. I, I can't remember the last time I actually watched some TV. What was the uh, What was it that set you off? What were you watching that, that killed it? I think I started... The last thing I remember watching was the first couple of seasons of The Expanse. I don't know like, what that is. Oh, you'd really like it. Would I? You'd really like it, yeah. Okay. It's really really good, hardcore sci-fi. Ooh, okay. But I was also listening to the books at the same time, and I think... I can't remember what happened. I think, like, watching the TV, I caught up with a book, and then I lost track of lost track of listening uh listening mm-hmm. to books on audible i think i fell up you know you know you go i go through phases of like listening to music 
mm-hmm. listening to podcasts and listening to audiobooks. And at the moment, I'm on listening to music. Oh, nice. And because I've not carried on listening to the book, I stopped watching TV and then it all fell apart. And now there's a shit ton of movies and a shit, uh, a crap ton of TV Oof. that I need to catch up with. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. there's loads and I've, um, I'm sure we'll talk about it in a bit. Yeah, we'll talk about it in a bit. But anyway, back to the matter of hand, only an yeah. hour a day. Okay, cool. Um, what would you say your favorite part of the day is? Is it 4 p.m. the mm-hmm. evening, mornings, mm-hmm. or are you mm-hmm. a night owl? There's some, there's some missing times of the day there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Again, we've gone it, too very specific or the entire rest of the day. It's it's the evening, the mm-hmm. evening, night, the bit after night. <laughs> there's the rest of the day. There's like a, like half the day is missing from those lists. But importantly, list. is your favourite part of the day missing from the list? I'd say my... F- yeah, I think it is. Hmm. My favourite part of the day is probably around like lunchtime or early afternoon. Really? Yeah. It's a niche niche choice. I love it on a day off where you realise it's like, you know, you get up a little bit earlier than... than yeah, not quite as early as you would during the week, but mm-hmm. you get up a bit earlier than like a, a, a real than a lion. lion. Than 6pm, yeah. And then, yeah. And you, you do a couple of things and then you check the time and it's still like midday and you've still got like loads of the day left. I think that's that. one of my favourite time related feelings. Okay, cool. Do you, do you have an answer that falls into um, the Beano's acceptable answers in this Pokemon quiz? <laughs> I guess mornings. Okay. Um, I'm going four because that's when I finish work. Uh, and that, that's that's, a... that's one specific time of day that I, I look forward to. That's true. That's very true. Oh, how we're on we're on for it again. How would your friends describe you? Yep. Would you say the greatest friend in the world, probably, kind and a bit silly, a total dude, or <laughs> a bit grumpy but always has crisps? <laughs> I love that last one. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone falls into one of those four categories. <laughs> and so apparently does every Pokemon. <laughs> a bit grumpy, but always has crisps. <laughs> is that like Christmas sharing? Was that just two, two oh, separate issues? Oh, he's a bit grumpy, but at least he's eating some walkers. Oh, that's great. Um, so I'm choosing for you, yeah? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do each other again. Uh, yeah, kind, but a bit silly. And yeah. a bit silly. That's yep. fair. Um, I really want to go for a bit grumpy, but always has crisps. You don't even particularly like crisps, do you? No, I don't. But I, really I, just, like I just really want to click on that. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's Thanks me. for calling me kind and a bit silly. Oh, oh, we're, oh Jesus Christ! Being a wing, I have words. Yeah. Uh, what's your favourite kind of biscuit? There were four options. Yeah. We're talking mid to low tier options. There mm. are none of the top. <sighs> so your options, Bino. Yeah, uh, a chocolate digestive, a hobnob, presumably plain hobnob, yeah, a ginger snap, or or literally any biscuit in front of me. The correct answers, as we all know, chocolate digestive actually I think is is probably third on the list of like a classic English biscuit. Mm-hmm. Um, but you go for like a bourbon custard cream. Your, your creamy sandwich biscuits are absolute top tier. Yeah, um, chocolate digestives are are good and wholesome and good fun. You, then you then you've got some options like you've got a Garibaldi, you've got a a fruit shortcake, a regular shortcake even. You, all of those are better than a hobnob. Hobnob mm. if you're dunking. We all agree hobnob if you're dunking. Structural integrity. Exactly. Ginger snaps and trash, and no one should ever eat them. Mm-hmm. That being said, I'll literally any biscuit in front of me, so that's the correct answer. Yeah, same. Same. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm most intrigued by the ordering of these. Uh, how? What sport do you play most often? Number one. Quidditch, <laughs> <laughs> netball, football, or is Fortnite classed as a sport? Oh, that's 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 relating to the the target audience, isn't it? Isn't look it? Look at the Beano. Look at the Beano keeping with the times. God, imagine the Bash Street kids, East Bash Street team. kids. That's what I was thinking. Bash Street brawlers. <laughs> My answer to these is none of them at yeah. all. Um, so I guess Quidditch. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was gonna pick Quidditch as well, or maybe netball because it's no, no Quidditch. Uh, what's your favourite type of music to dance to? Some interesting <laughs> choices again. Again, oh, option this one is... has to be Gangnam Style. That's dated. Maybe Isn't Bino's it? not keeping with the times. Although, That's... when was this? 
well, even though I suppose I was going to say when was this quiz made, but there is a Gangnam definite. Gangnam Style's pre Fortnite. Oh yeah, by sure. Gangnam Style's uh, twenty fifteen. I want to say. No, it was before. No, no, twenty twelve even. Yeah, Maybe 2012, 2013, I think. Yeah. Uh, option two is heavy metal. Mm-hmm. Option three is pop music. Mm-hmm. Option four, the opera. That traditional there, dance style. Has anyone ever tried to dance to the opera? <laughs> Don't dance to the opera. You sit politely with your funny telescope glasses. <laughs> your, op- your opera goggles. There's no dancing at the opera. I mean, out of that, I guess my answer. Sorry, Hal, what's your answer first? Well, I'd say probably the closest is probably, yeah, heavy metal, because mm. the only time I've ever probably danced in the past two or three years mm-hmm. would be at a gig. Not a heavy metal gig, mm-hmm. but closer t- to heavy metal than all of the other choices. Mm-hmm. Do you do you feel at home in a mosh pit? Yeah. Yeah. I could I could do a mosh pit. I can mosh. It's been a couple of years, but, but I could mm. mosh. I think I'm probably going down that route as well. I I would accept pop music if we're like I would dance to like if if we're going disco funk and classing that as as pop music, then I'd go for that. But if we're going like I'm not going to dance to a to what's on Radio One, no. so um so we're going heavy metal. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, topical for um people in their very late twenties. Um, are you a good student? <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we change that to were you a good student? Were you a good student? Yeah. Um, just to try and relate. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure we really can. Um, I'd like to think so. My teacher would disagree. I'm the homework boss. Or can I come back to this one? <laughs> Were you a good student? Me? I'm gonna have to put. Can I come back to this one? Because I procrastinate. Mm, smart. Mm. I was a terrible student. I actually got a paper plate award at the end of um, my time at uni. Mm. I was the most uh, worry-inducing. Oh because, no! Because because all of my tutors because <laughs> they were like I'm I was I'd say I was like a pretty good student in terms of kind of getting this doing getting the work uh, mm-hmm. understanding the work understanding everything but I was just so bad at. I always met deadlines, but I was terrible with keeping up with things like tutorials and stuff oh, like yeah. that. Did you so, meet deadlines on the deadline exactly one minute before and do all almost the work? exactly? Yeah. I missed I missed a deadline once, I think, but I also kind of asked ahead of schedule, ahead mm. of ahead of the time, and by ahead of the time I meant like a couple of days before. Um, I my dissertation, I had a genuine accident where I lost the entirety of my working draft oh, and God. had no backups a week before it was due and uh had to rewrite luckily i'd already written i don't know like 90 percent of it i'd already mm-hmm. written it so it was 90 percent rewriting what i'd already written yeah from memory yeah. um but i did it with basically i worked for two days straight literally two days yeah, 48 yeah. hours non-stop leading up to the deadline that sounds like an absolute bloody nightmare oh yes it was like yeah. it happened i remember it happened about a week before and i took three days just to come to grips with what had happened <laughs> amazing oh uh, yeah i was just i was just straight terrible like legit yeah. awful at school because i never did any work mm. and then i was slightly better at uni but did exactly that every single piece of work i did at the very last possible second, usually deep into the night. Yeah. Um, I think 54 hours a week was my... Uh, really? Was the, the most I ever did for one project. Yikes. Never again, Hal. Never no. again. Pick a crisp flavour. Oh, what was your answer for that one? Oh, yeah, I went for my teacher would disagree, assuming that was the bloody awful one. Gotcha. Okay. Only the classic crisp flavours. Are you a prawn cocktail, cheese and onion, roast beef, or something spicy? What do you think, Joe? For me, yep. I'm going to assume that there's something spicy. It's like a Sensations Thai sweet chilli. Oh, yeah. And that's that pretty good. lovely. So I'm going to go for mm. one of them. Because the correct answers are very salted salt and vinegar, not cheese and onion. Because you're, you're cocktail can basically... Because <laughs> you're a salty boy. Because <laughs> I'm a real salty boy. <laughs> but sometimes, just a little bit spicy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I will go for roast beef. Okay. Because I think out of those options, that's probably my favourite. So just reading the next one. Um, 
Al, out of these four options, knowing that you used to work at a shoe shop, what sort of <laughs> shoes did you wear? Are you partial to Crocs? Anything but Crocs? Is it some sweet slides or wellies? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm actually wearing slides at the moment. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> got my got my got my socks and slides. Nice. So I'm gonna have to go for some sweet slides. Yeah, you gotta. Um I do actually really enjoy wearing wellies. Yeah. It's just good fun, isn't it? You feel like you have an adventure. <laughs> yeah. If it's raining, what hat are you gonna wear? Are you wearing a baseball cap, a rain hat, a top hat, or a cowboy hat? <laughs> Wear a hood. Just wear a hood. <laughs> None of these are good. No one owns a rain hat. All the other three are terrible options. I don't know. I wear a baseball cap when um, when it's raining. Cool. I, I genuinely would pick that, yeah. Would you? I, out of the options, I guess it's a, rain, a, a baseball cap, isn't it? Baseball cap it is. All right, Let's it's a it. working. Ooh. What have you got? Ooh, I've got an interesting one. Go yeah. What have you got? I've got Bulbasaur this time around. Ooh, a strong choice. Is, is, is he a go-to for you for a Gen 1 game? No. No. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, great, great answer. Yep. I've got a Pidgeot, which... Um, Interesting. I quite like that, you know. Yeah. So, so big... far, I've got two pretty pretty top-tier boys. You got, you're got you a big bird. You're a big bird boy. I'm a big bird boy. Big birdie boy. Big bird boy. Okay, well, so there's no consistency so far. Not at We've all. Got, there, yeah. there is a consistency with um, my favourites and things that would probably end up on a team. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, here comes number three. Okay, so this one I think might be a little bit more involved. This is from HowStuffWorks.com, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it's a bit more reputable than the Beano. The Beano. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's kick this off. So question mm. one. The professor offers three Pokemon for you and your friends. Who picks first? Is it why is this even a question? Me, of course. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll let them go first because I'm such a nice person. I am too indecisive. Mm -hmm. An epic battle ensues to determine the order. This is before they've got Pokemon. So at this point, it's just a fight. This is fisticuffs. Yeah, yeah, this is just, you know, punching each other. (laughs) Uh, We all choose at the same time and go from there. Or draw straws. I don't like conflict. I would probably go, I'm too indecisive. Like, yeah. In that situation, I would be trying to figure out what to do whilst everyone else has already picked them. Yeah. I like how this is. This sounds really kind of almost passive aggressive mm-hmm. for... I would go for, I'll let them go first, because I generally... I can just imagine me going after you. Yeah, you definitely would. But the fact that it's kind of like, it says, because I'm such a nice person, that sounds so kind of... <laughs> self-involved like well obviously well, i'm the best them, so I'm you the can best. go first <laughs> but okay i'll have I'll, uh, yeah uh right next question which superpower would you prefer regeneration plant manipulation right super strength super speed time travel or shapeshifter so there is a correct answer to which superpower is best and one mm-hmm. of these is the correct answer so i want to hear what what your um your choice is I'd probably go for shapeshifter. Correct answer. With the mm. shape, shapeshifting is the best power. You can do most other superpowers within shapeshifting. Yeah, I mean, depending on what kind of shape. If you have like a just a kind of you know Tonks from Harry Potter, where you yeah, can just yeah. ma- manipulate your looks, you can't. You manipulate... probably can't get super strength from that. But it'd yeah. still be it'd still be a laugh. But if you could go like full uh, like, you know, you can go full ditto and morph into anything morph you into anything you see. Like... You, you then... want to fly? Change into a bird. Mm. You want to be strong? Be be Just make yourself big and strong. Shapeshifting yeah. is all the things. Except yeah. time travel. Time travel is another op- a decent option there. But yeah, correct yeah. answer. Shapeshifter. Okay. Where do you live? Pallet Town? Pewter City? Cerulean City? Vermilion City? Fuchsia, Fuchsia City? Or Saffron City? For me, I'm uh, I'm going somewhere either Vermilion or Fuchsia. Yeah. Um, but I think I'm probably going to go Fuchsia. I, I like... I like the idea of it being quite um, out of the way. Uh, it's a nice mm-hmm. coastal town. You've got a good tourist attraction there in the safari zone. Yep. I'm going I'm going fuchsia. Um, out of these, I'd probably pick saffron. Interesting. I like, I like being in, in a big city. In amongst the action. In Right in amongst the action. It doesn't get more in the action than saffron, baby. No, no, you're right. You're right. 
um, you don't want to go to work today. Oh, this is relatable. <laughs> uh, you don't want to go to work today. What's your excuse? A boulder is in your way and you don't know strength. It's dark out and you don't know flash. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, what is working dark night. Out? Where do you <laughs> Uh, a tree is blocking you and you can't remember cut. Your Pidgeotto is sick and can't fly you to work. Hmm. Snorlax, enough said. <laughs> it's raining and you don't know surf. Can we just unpick for a second? It's raining yes. and you don't know surf. <laughs> How much is it raining? <laughs> Can you imagine it's like drizzling and you're like, I can't swim, I can't get to work. <laughs> like there's, it's It's barely raining. Oh, it's too wet, I can't swim. <laughs> With that in mind, I'm going straight for that one. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to have to go for your Pidgeotto. Sorry, you are Pidgeotto is sick <laughs> and can't fly you to work. I'm going to have to go with that because that's basically the kind of, uh, like, my car's broken down or my yeah. dog. Yeah. I, I, like, it's my car's broken down and my dog's eaten my homework. Ah, uh, my like, dog's eaten my car. One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Choose a gym badge. Boulder, Boulder, Cascade, Thunder, Rainbow, Volcano, or Earth. Torn between Cascade and Volcano for mm. me. I love a water gym, but I quite like the gym setup of, of Blaine's where you got to go through your little pop quiz. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? So if I've got the badge, then I know things. So I'm going Volcano, actually. You're going Volcano. That's a physical and intellectual badge. I have to go Rainbow. Nice. Because Erika's gym is nice and it is it's very green and and lovely uh what status condition do you find yourself in most often is it burned paralysis uh, paralyzed poisoned frozen confused or obviously asleep oh you're going asleep i'm going confused yeah <laughs> i'm always fucking asleep god damn it What's your best quality? Okay, this is. I think we we should do the uh, mm -hmm. where we answer each other. Uh, respectful, honest, passionate, humble, confident, or brave. Obviously, if I was answering with myself, then I'd say humble. Um, I'm often <laughs> amazed at how humble I am. <laughs> <laughs> I would say out of those, let's go confident for you. Really, that's surprising. Yeah, I'd, I'd jump in on confident. Um, for you, I would say passionate. Oh, that's very kind of you. Because you're a, uh, you're, you, you, you do your music. You're I very passionate about. When you Thank get you. talking about something you like, it's like you got fire up your ass. Thank it's you. very. <laughs> when you talk about spreadsheets, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, right, I've got my segment for next week. I'm just gonna. <laughs> it's just gonna be a, an audio talk through of a really good spreadsheet. Good. I like it. Because we could link the spreadsheet if it's a if it's one that you don't mind sharing, yes. we could just put it. Oh Drilled. boy! Uh, Let's see how okay. many how many of our two listeners we can drop in one week. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you battle another Pokemon to save my loved ones for experience and advancement? Mm -hmm. Why would someone pick a fight with me? Mm -hmm. Because my trainer asked me to. Hope we're, world. Um, hope we're a Pokemon in this situation. Yep. <laughs> world domination or too much work walks away a genuinely difficult question this um, yeah i would go to save my loved ones yeah i'm probably gonna do the same it's a bit of a bizarre one that one yeah but i wonder where that's where that's going in the uh as if this means anything <laughs> yep favorite color purple yellow blue red green or other uh my favorite color is purple and mine is blue well there you go that's easy you encounter another Pokemon trainer. So we're a trainer now. Yep. Yep. <laughs> what do you do? Battle of I mean, course? We've always been a trainer. Are you just Your trainer's got a trainer. There's too many layers of training. Human uh, person, why would you kick that Pikachu? <laughs> <laughs> because your trainer told you to. Hang on. This is, this is strange. So you encounter another Pokemon trainer. Do you battle, of course, flee... Trade trainer tips, steal their Pokemon and items, panic, or sing them to sleep. Um, Do you, as a trainer, sing <laughs> sing the trainers to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just trying to picture that scenario playing out. You just like you lock, someone, you, you just lock, lock eyes, it, you lock get eyes. the little exclamation mark above your head, and then you go, just sing the one to sleep. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, because that's what my singing sounds like. That so. was actually um, yeah, pretty accurate to your normal mm. singing voice. Um, I would panic. You'd panic? Straight up panic. I think I'd trade trainer tips. Yeah. We'll try to. Yep, I can see that. What's your favourite mode of transportation? Is it bicycle? The SS Anne? Using fly? Moving? Too much work. <laughs> Surfing on Lapras? Or I'll walk, thanks. All right, um, don't need to be so passive aggressive about it. <laughs> That's a valid mode of transportation, walking yourself. Mm hmm. Although all of these are uh, decently carbon neutral options. So the normal mm. response is, oh, walk, thanks. Um, instead of getting a car, you know, yep. you're not you're not really hurting anyone by using a bike or surfing on a lap press. I, mm. I think probably the most fun would be using fly, surely. Yeah. I'd say, yeah, either using fly or the SSR. Mm. I love, I do, I'm a, I'm a fan of a ferry. I like okay. going on a ferry, but then I also like being in a plane. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to go using fly as well. All right. Which group would you most like to join? Team Rocket, the Elite Four, Silco, Squirtle Squad, the Pokemon Company, Meta, Meta, or Gym Leaders? So I was going to immediately jump for, oh, it'd, be, it'd be pretty dope to be like an Elite Four or a Gym Leader. But if Squirtle mm -hmm. Squad's an option, <laughs> then not as a Squirtle sure. though, just as, no, as, just as, just as a guy. <laughs> it's like it's the Squirtle Squad. It's four Squirtles and Joe. And Joe. <laughs> <laughs> um, a genuine answer. I'd probably go for gym leaders. Mm. Um, but I just love the uh, mental, uh, yeah, mental image of just the Squirtle <laughs> Squad. Just and they've all got the sunglasses, and you've got yep. the sunglasses as well. But you're just you're just there. <laughs> Um, how do you make friends? I adapt to my surroundings to make people like me. My friendship is earned, plain and simple. Very easily, people like me. Not really one for friends. Through love and understanding. It takes a long time, but then we're friends for life. A difficult question. I would go for it takes a long time, but then we're friends for life. Hmm. A, a small number of good friends is, is a Joe way. It's a good way. Hmm. Um... Not really one for friends. No. You uh, don't lie. <laughs> I, I would go very immediately for very easily people like you. I've never known anyone to just naturally fit into a, a group as you. Just in, I'll, I'll take it. In any situation, you will turn up and then everyone's like, how? I was like, do you guys know each other? Nah. <laughs> but look it at this guy. I'll be friends with this guy. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it, but I do genuinely... I, I, it doesn't feel like it, but I, I, th I know what you mean. I do notice just kind of slotting into friendship groups quite quite easily. I like... I, I Actually, you know what? I'm going to put... I adapt to my surroundings to make yeah. people like me. But I wouldn't say it's... Yeah, I'm going to kick that for the, the sake of the quiz. But I'd say it's more of a positive way of just like listening mm. to what people like, picking up on people's yeah. cues and that nice. kind of thing. So I'll go with that. Which of the following could you never live without? Caffeine. I can't live without it. Yes, that was the point of the question. Yep. Flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Flowers. The earth is just so beautiful. Friends, books, social media, or TV. Flowers. Yeah? Yeah. I just think, imagine a world without flowers would be a bit crap. It would be, yeah. world without friends is school. <laughs> <laughs> live through that. <laughs> Um, you see, I would say caffeine, mm -hmm. but if it really boiled down to it and I had to give up either caffeine or having friends, I would yeah. give up caffeine. That would make sense. Yeah. So, unless we're talking about the hit 90s TV series, Friends. Mm, true. Could you mm. live without Friends? Mm, no. No. Couldn't do that still, either. Still correct, Nancy. You give up caffeine before you give up <laughs> Friends, the sitcom. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Where are there too many Zubat? <laughs> <laughs> <That's a question. laughs> So philosophical. Uh, Mount Moon, Rock Tunnel, Safari Zone, Diglett's Cave, Seafoam Islands, or My Closet? There's a lot of bats in my closet. <laughs> you live with a, an ecologist. I do. So. She spends her entire time counting bats, so I'm going to click my closet. Mount Moon for me. Cool. Oh. There are too many zoo on Mount Moon. Yep. I've got my answer. And so I have I. love it. What have you got? I'm a Psyduck. <laughs> It happened. <laughs> in, in fairness, that does give me a bit of crossover because that was one of my possible options for the first quiz as well. Was it? Oh I yeah, of course a, it was. A Psyduck, a Squirtle, a Turtle, a Mudkip. So yep. 
That's two for Psyduck. Incredible. Okay. Oh, I so... have a little blurb as well. Um, I'm Psyduck, and let's admit it, you're a little off, which mostly stems from the many awkward situations you find yourself in. While you're a bit of a klutz and a tad unorganised, there's a lot more to you than you give credit for. You do things your own way, no matter the path it takes you down. It's actually quite nice and fairly accurate. God, it's like a horoscope. It's Isn't got you it? to a T. <laughs> Um, so this is a bit of a bit of a left field. I'm mm. uh, yeah, I'm a little bit of a perplexed, b- 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 bit perplexed mm. by this. I'm Ponyta. What? Mm. Cool. It says you're Ponyta, more shy and reserved. You tend to keep to yourself and a very few close friends. If you're unsure about something, you never hesitate to ask for a little assistance. But achieving something on your own is important too. You stay within your means and don't purposely break rules. While you're not fond of conflict, you do enjoy competition. And if angered, you certainly know how to bring the heat. Jeez, that's also weirdly very spot on. Mm. Yeah. I guess you're Ponyta. I guess I'm Ponyta. Okay, right, last one. I'm going to end this with a... Uh, it is, of course... A classic BuzzFeed. Classic BuzzFeed. Got right. You can't do a personality quiz like this without scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Are we being asked again, first of all, where do we live? So we've already had this question. Are you going to stick to your guns from the previous quiz? Um, your answers now include Pallet Town, Viridian City, Pewter City, Cerulean City, Vermilion, Lavender, Cinnabar Island, Future City, or Saffron City. Still no Celadon. Uh, there's not much in Celadon, though, is there? What do you mean there's not much in Celadon? It's the most inhabited town. Is it? Yeah. Am I misremembering which one? Sells, sells, oh, it's the one. With, yeah, Celadon's it's the, one the one to the left. The... Of Saffron. Saffron's yeah. like your uh, your business center of the city, but Celadon's where the things happen. That's where you got your hotel and your big stores and your game corner and your, mm. and your grass gym. Yeah, which was my favorite gym, which and I forgot where it was. Gym. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to change tact a bit because I think Cinnabar's cooler than Fuchsia. Yeah, that's so true. The island. I'm surprised you've not gone for Vermilion though, the classic port. Wow, the Vermilion was one of my options as well. Um, uh, but Vermilion it, wasn't there last time. I no, think, it was. was. It? I was choosing between Vermilion or Fuchsia. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I, was, I was going for one of the seaside towns. Um, but I feel like Vermilion's more like a... Like, it's not like a beachy um, beachy port. It's like... Port port. An important port city. Mm-hmm. Rather than like a, a gentle seaside town. Yeah, Fuchsia City is definitely a beachside city. Yeah, rather exactly. Than a port city. Yeah. It has a beach. Exactly. And so yep. does Cinnabar is a is an even more extreme version of Fuchsia. Yeah. So exactly. Okay. Where are you heading for? Uh, I'm going to stick to my guns and go for saffron. Go for saffron. Nice. Yep. What's your best quality? Rather than a couple of repeats here. Mm. Um, respectful, honest, passionate, humble, focused, confident, brave, likable, or sexy. Are we going to answer each other again? Now that sex is on the table, it's important that we do. <laughs> so I think you'd be... Uh, I'm going to pick sexy. Yep. Sexy um, Joe. How? I'm picking sexy. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, beautiful. <laughs> it's a very, very wholesome podcast. <laughs> uh, but conversely, what's your greatest weakness? Are you distant, selfish, perfectionist, impatient, unassertive, controlling, stubborn, always late, or pushy? You see, I would say impatient, but at these, a big advice for me is that I'm always late. Yeah, I was going to say, now always late's on the table. We, we may have yep. very similar answers here. Yeah. But <laughs> I, we've never organised something where we've not set a time and then both convene like an hour and a half later. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Every single time. Um, next question's a bit of an iffy one. Let's find out who's hottest in this anime full of 10-year-olds. Yep. Is yep. it Ash Ketchum, Misty, Brock, Gary Oak, Nurse Joy, Professor Oak, Jesse James, or Officer Jenny? Ooh, uh, nearly half of these answers are 10 years old. Let's go for the overage answers. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Nurse Joy, Professor... It's got to be Professor Oak. I, I was immediately going Professor Oak. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to go Officer Jenny. Oh. Yeah, no, fair, fair. Lady, I'm, girl in I'm uniform. I'm going Professor Oak. He is a silver fox. He is a silver fox with a silky voice. Mm, look at that strong jawline as well. Oh yeah, he is a and, and the scowl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. He looks like a thwomp of a man. <laughs> <laughs> what an upsetting sentence. 
<laughs> Just imagine him, imagine him at it. Urgh. Urgh. Oh, All that's right. it. Yep, that's that's a quick one. How? What have we got? So, I've got absolutely zero consistency across this. Mm-hmm. I am now Alakazam. What? Yep. Cool. Based on what? So the little blurb says, you got Alakazam, but you already knew you'd get this result, didn't you, Alakazam? Nice. Um, Didn't at all take two attempts to say that sentence. (laughs) Um, We all knew it was going to happen at some point. I got Snorlax. Who doesn't love a good nap? We sure know you do. And to think that every time you wake up, it's the lovely sounds of a poker flute. Now that's the life. (laughs) You know what? I'm fine with that. One of us was going to get it. They've really gone down the dopey route for me. Yeah. You got two Psyduck and a Snorlax. <laughs> Thanks, quizzes. I mean, let's, let's see if there's any kind of consistency over mine because I've got Eevee, Bulbasaur, Ponyta, and I'll look at. There's no consistency. There's like, nothing which... at all. I guess I'm a Psyduck because I got that one twice. <laughs> yeah. You... I'm sorry, <laughs> bud. <laughs> that, is, that is. That's the, um, that's the game. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do with that. No, oh, no, you've you've got four options. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna what? um get the the mean Pokedex number and find out what all of those are put together. <laughs> okay. Give me two seconds to figure that out. <laughs> Incredible. I'd just like to share this with you for a moment. Mm-hmm. Um there's absolutely been consistency because uh, by my very scientific method, you were Pokedex numbers uh, one seventy seven 133 and 65 mm-hmm. uh what's the what's the mean of all those numbers how huh? pass 69 Ugh. <laughs> no no it's happened you are number 69 which i believe is a <laughs> perfect you're a bell sprout <laughs> <laughs> That science that <laughs> yep. How was about Oh dear. Well, the, I did say Erica's gym. Erica's gym was my favourite badge. So you did. I'm obviously at home now. There you go. Stupid, sexy. How's a bell sprout? Yep. All right. Well, shall we? Shall we? Shall we do a move on? Let's do a move on. Let's um, skip right ahead to our final section of the podcast. How? Yep. What have you been up to this week? <laughs> We normally do this week, but since we've not done a podcast, do you want to do a, a more a more general, general what you've been up to? Um, the floor's open. Tell me some things. Yeah. I mean, the world's shit at the moment, and sure there's not much is. you can really do. Mm-hmm. Um, as, as, as discussed earlier, I've not really been watching a lot of TV or films, mm. because I really, really burnt myself out on those. I'd say the only thing it really is 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 you can do is just a bit of a plug. I've been streaming a lot more recently. You have, with, as you know, because I you've have. been involved in quite a few. I've of been them. there. I've been I've been streaming with you, or I've been in the chat. Um, yeah. It's been a real good time. Yeah, yeah, that's been a real good time. It it's is really really fun. Really genuinely, because we we um we've kind of got a little group going of people who we play games with, and and a few of you stream. Um, it's mm. genuinely the highlights of. Of not just me, me, and, me and Becky. Um, it's the highlights of the week when someone's streaming at the moment. It's just a really lovely way to, um, especially when it's people you know. You just stick on a stream mm. and it kind of just feels like you're hanging out. Yeah. Um, you just it just feels like when you're at school and you pop around to your mate's house and watch them play Mario and you're like, oh, maybe I'll get a chance to play Mario in a minute. And you never do. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> but at least this time you have the, at least now you have the the excuse for not being able to play Mario because the other person is. In a different building, yeah, uh, a different part of this, yeah, makes it more challenging. But it's been it's been real good um, as a viewer. It's it's been a well fun time, uh, and particularly I've been doing some. Well, we've been doing some multiplayer streams as well. Mm. We did Mario Kart last night, a uh, time of recording, yep. which was really fun. That was great fun. Um, it gets a boring after a while when you win every single race, but um, I'll Joe, try you and won one race. I'm I pretty did sure not you won a race. One. I came third. <laughs> My highest position was third in that one. I'm sure you won at least one. I won one a previous time that we've done it, but I did not win a race. Every time that I was in first, um, I immediately got hit by a rabble and got down to eighth just on the line. Oh, dear. That happened like three times. I was furious. 
<laughs> yeah, there was some real bad rabbles. We weren't even playing matchmaking. It was just, it was, uh, what, about six, six of us? Of five us, or yeah. six? Yeah, six of us and then do in, in a private game. But it was just, I think it was just enough for it to, to there be like a, a, a big enough competition within the group plus the handful of AI as well mm -hmm. for it not to be really, really boring. Um, it was really good fun. It was really and, good fun. Uh, We'll be. I'll be doing it again in probably in a couple of weeks or so, so yeah. we, we don't burn out on it. But um, just for for a quick plug, then, how where can people find you? Uh, Twitch dot Twitch dot TV forward slash Hal Diamond. That's mm -hmm. my Twitch. That's my Twitch. Um, I will give you a quick congratulations as well because you've just finished a uh, hundred percent Spyro one. Oh yeah, which was yeah, uh, that's true. That was good fun. I genuinely that impressed. It, I didn't even clock onto it that you were like properly 100% in it until you're like, oh, I've got the bonus level now, but I've already unlocked it because I've been 100% in everything. You made it look real yeah. easy. <laughs> I didn't, though, because I was doing I a mean, lot no, of dying. You, you did a lot of dying. But yeah, that was real good fun to watch. Mm. Yeah, well, it was. it's the first kind of the solo one I've been, been doing. Um, and we're going to have to think of another new game to do solo because we'll be doing Spyro 2, me and... Um, Fella called Joe Wild and I will be will be doing that mm. together, uh, doing a to race, that. which should be good. But um, but that means I need to think of another game to play by myself, um, which mm -hmm. I will do some thinking on. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was a good time. Yeah, very good time. I genuinely think that's all I've been doing. We've been we've we've been playing D and D. We've been playing mm -hmm. video, uh, having like social video games regularly to keep ourselves sane, which mm -hmm. has been really nice. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, that, that's about that's... a lot of it. Yeah. What about you, Joe? What have you been up to? Yeah. Um, I mean, I've been mostly watching people stream, to be honest. It's been lovely. Um, mm. In the recent months. Recent months. God, it feels like months. Yeah. A few weeks that we've been doing that. I uh, in, the, in the weird period mid between lockdowns, where we, um, we had a lockdown that was kind of half a lockdown, and then it was Christmas, and then everything's kind of all right, and then it was big lockdown again. I got mm -hmm. really into rock climbing. Really? When went bouldering like every day for a while I had a little bouldering wow. gym um which is really really good fun and like i always really struggle to find any kind of bits of exercise that interest me in any way yeah um and i think the way to do it for me is to make it a competition and make it give yourself a challenge and goals to be and things and that it's a really mm -hmm. good way of doing that because it doesn't feel like exercise i mean it feels like exercise the next day mm -hmm. but it just feels like oh i climbed that wall that felt good managed to get up there um, I want to do that again. Climb that one that looks a bit harder, and then I'll climb that, and that'll be good. But it's keeping me fit. Or oh, it was. I don't want to do it anymore. Yep. Is that something I'm really missing in this lockdown? Because I got, I got, I bought climbing shoes. Wow. Which probably went for it. Um, <laughs> you went but, for the for a proper kit. Went for well, the the single piece of proper kit. Yeah. But, um, that's just a, a genuinely really fun thing that uh, I was doing for a while, and can't wait to get back to when the world um, lets me in. And it's the only thing I found, I think, for I think exercise and keeping fit that um, that I'm excited to go back to. Like, if yeah. I, I've I've done running and going to the gym and those two things um, in the past, but every time it's like, ah, oh, I guess I'll do that because it's important to to get out and about. Um, yeah, don't don't feel the same way with that. Sounds really cool. So that was exciting. Sounds really cool. Um, and uh, other than that, I did want to talk to you. I know you've um, uh, you've sworn off TV for a bit, mm -hmm. um, but WandaVision is out, and I'm gonna need you to put it at the front of your list. Yeah, when you get back to um, it to is watching because I have a I have thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is on the front of my list. It mm -hmm. literally the top. Um, yeah. Is it all out or is it being released? No, week week? so episode five came out. Uh, time of recording a couple of days ago yeah um and i i don't i'm hesitant to say much because it will give lots of i don't want to give anything away mm -hmm. um because it's massive spoiler territory mm. but um i have lots of thoughts mm -hmm. about the whole series but the last thing to happen in the most recent episode is like a real big deal potentially yeah within um like a universe defining moment um is which, it like a big crossover or something i will not say anything oh so that's a yes <laughs> if you well i don't want to give you literally anything 
any kind of a, an idea of what it is because it's because it's big spoiler territory but i would advise okay. if you've not watched it stay off the internet and places that might tell you right um but yeah i i, I want to talk to you about it okay when's um, the how many episodes are there in total it's either eight or nine so you got you got a few weeks okay i might might um, we should do then what we did with the boys where the boys, we yeah. we waited till the end um yeah. And then, because I'll what I'll probably do is just binge it when they're all out. Yeah, yeah, that that sounds like the smart the smart play. Um, it obviously does require avoiding the internet, but mm-hmm. um, but yeah, that's, that's probably what I'll do by then. I'll probably be back on the TV wagon. And the last bit of TV I did actually watch was the Mando, was the Mandalorian. Uh, I see. I, that's another one that I still. I know we talked about it before, where mm. I um, I watched the same episode three times and fell asleep every time in it. <laughs> um, and it's really yeah. struggled to get back into it. But that's that's on the list. That's mm. that's I think next one for me to to probably binge and, and catch up on. So yeah, I was a big uh, fan. Big fan of Mando. I think it's my favorite Star Wars piece of thing. I've heard a lot of people saying that. Um, just because I th- well, I know exactly why it is, why it is is because I love. I think the Star Wars um, universe as a whole is a really interesting, mm. deep, really fleshed out. Um, universe that's never really properly explored in the movies because yeah in every single pretty much all of the movies apart from maybe solo Hmm. there's always a galactic scale threat like it's always a giant i mean rogue one was a little bit better because even though the stakes were really high it was like one instance in that yeah war i i would put rogue up rogue one up there as it depends on what I'm feeling with the day, but I I I love that movie. Mm. I put that up there as, as one of my favorites. But I think um, before Mandalorian, reason. I think one of my favorite parts of the Star Wars, the whole thing, was the first third of uh, Force Awakens. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you that actually. Yeah. When they're planet that was, that hopping. That was a really good and, bit of film. Yeah. Yeah. Going going, kind of going from one adventure to the other, and it was a really kind of cool, uh, roller coaster, cool adventure. Mm. Uh, and then all of a sudden the stakes just went up again. And yeah, and that, I'd never really pin that down, but it's definitely the first bit of that movie is better than the better than the latter half. Yeah, like they're just it's, when it's they more, when, it's just more enjoyable. Yeah, when they they get off Jakku and run into uh, Han Solo and then go mm-hmm. to this interesting temple. Uh, there's some like escapades on the ship, and then yeah, they go to this temple, and you start to, like seeing all of these these cool creatures about and these cool areas, and you're like, oh, this is this is pretty cool. Uh, we might actually see a bit more background stuff, like small mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. a small adventure, some cool like little um uh, like cultures and stuff like that, and then a planet explodes, and then it's it's just. And then you're back into Star Wars. Yeah, and then you're back into Star yeah. Wars. Whereas Mando is obviously, I think there is like quite a big scale thing going on, like really deep down underneath. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But um, but the most of it is literally just you know one guy going from planet to planet, doing bounties, meeting people, and then there's something going on in the right in the background that's linking it all together and kind of moving along as the series goes on. But it is. There is still very much a character of the day, a monster of the day. Mm. And it's just really small and the stakes are really low. And I really enjoy that. Nice. Okay. Well, you've sold me on it before and I've still not watched it, but you've sold me on it. <laughs> I'll, uh, uh, I will let you know my thoughts as soon as I, I finally get through it. Mm. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool. Well, um, I think that's probably our, uh, our podcast for the week. Probably is, yeah. I don't um, say it is. It's, it's good to be back. It is good to be back. This feels good. It feels real good. If for a for a little wrap up, you've already said where we can find you on Twitch, Hal. But if anyone wanted to um to find you elsewhere, where would we go about doing that? Oh yeah, other places. We do this. I forgot we do this. Um, yeah. I forgot we do do the plugs. Uh, so you can find me on Twitter, which is uh, at Hal underscore Diamond. Um, you've got me YouTube, which is YouTube dot com forward slash Hal Diamond. Uh, you've got a Twitch, mm-hmm. which is Twitch TV forward slash Hal Diamond. Basically, all of the places it's slash Hal Diamond apart from Twitter. Which is how which is underscore, underscore diamond. diamond. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, um, you you can find me on the on YouTube or Instagram very rarely at um, Joe Goddard Music, um, and you can of course reach us by email. Email our intern pod. 
<laughs> Email the intern pod, which is uh, pod at classflack.com. Yeah. I'd love to hear from anyone. Anyone. Anyone at all. Any, anyone at all. Shouting yeah. out into the void. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, see you next week, Psyduck. Oh, Jesus. See you, Bell Sprout. <laughs> <laughs>